Hello everyone, this is Stan, place on to the power of us today. We're going to go ahead and start reading Ecclesiastes. I, I don't really know if I mispronounce it, but yeah. If you guys want to read it really long, you guys can go to classifybibletoday.com or you guys can get, go and go your Bible. I don't really care how you guys want to do it, let's go and get started. Everything is meaningless. The words of the teacher, son of David, king in Jerusalem, meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher. Utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. What do people gain from all their labors at which they toil under the sun? Generations come and generations go, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun sets, and hurries back to where it rises. The wind blows to the south and turns to the north, round and round it goes, every re ever returning on its course. All streams flow into the sea, yet the sea is never full. To the place the streams come from, there they return again. All things are worrisome, more than one can say. The eye never has enough of seeing, nor the ear is full of hearing. What, it, what has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. There is, is there anything of which one can say, look, there is something new. This is something new. It was here already a long ago. It was here long before our time. No one remembers the former generations, and even those yet to come will not be remembered, but those, and by those who follow them. Wisdom is meaningless. I, the, the teacher, was king over Israel and Jerusalem. I applied my mind to study and to explore by wisdom all that is done under the heavens. What a heavy burden God has laid on mankind. I've seen all the things that are done under the sun. All of them are meaningless, a chasing after the wind. What is crooked cannot be straightened. Yeah. What is crooked cannot be straightened. What is lacking cannot be counted. I said to myself, look, I've increased in wisdom more than anyone who has ruled over Jerusalem before me. I've experienced much of wisdom and knowledge. And I applied myself to be to the understanding of wisdom and also of madness and folly, but I learned that this too is a chasing after the wind, for which, for with much wisdom comes much sorrow. The more knowledge, the more grief. Yeah, as I do know that I kind of stumbled today, but I really hope that you enjoyed. I'll go and see you next time. Bye.